Okay, so it's going live. Good morning. Good morning, Tony. How are you this morning? I am well, Dr. Milu. I wanted to surprise you this morning, Tony. How so? How so? Ah, well, see, we have a guest uh, and an unannounced visitor in our show. Oh, do we? I, I hear something <laughs> in the background. Good morning, Tony. Uh, yeah. So uh, oh, Paul, we, Paul. we, yeah, we brought along Paul. How about that? Very good. And this is uh, Paul with the cycle bar, correct? Paul with the cycle bar and uh, Fifth, Fifth Core in Richmond Heights. That is correct. Yes. Very mm -hmm. good. Is that what I hear in the background, Paul? Uh, no, you, no, you're hearing <laughs> one of my offices. <laughs> Very good. Well, this is Zoom, and it's uh, the reality of today's business. <laughs> well, good morning, and uh, welcome to Coffee with the Coach. We uh, meet usually uh, the first and uh, third Tuesday of each month to have conversation with Dr. Milu Islam. And um, as I understand, Dr. Milu, you are planning, um, you have a conversation today. The topic is from, from impossible to possible. Yes, yes. Have you, have you seen the beautiful, uh, wonderful video that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you're getting these videos, but they are all a bit. Uh, <laughs> Different. And and we will we will try to uh, show the video at at one point because you know last time we had little technical difficulties but this time what I will do I'll follow your advice and and uh, and go using our uh, video from from the Facebook page how about that that sounds good well I guess um, we all have an impossible dream. Mm -hmm. And uh, how you realize it is upon, is up to you. And this 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 is fabulous because this this video also has some music. Can you hear the music? I, I can hear the music. Okay. So let's see if I can if I can share it with you on Facebook, and uh, that will be a challenge because music already playing. So. So you can hear the music, you cannot see the video, is that right? This is true, but some videos, once you see them, you cannot unsee them. <laughs> 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 and uh, if, if you'd like me to describe it in my own words, um, <laughs> what I see is a, um, an individual who is uh, living his dream of wanting to be a a uh, famous musician and vocalist uh -huh. and uh, dressed in a very strange outfit. So, <laughs> so I guess any of us, every, every one of us has a dream that we want to achieve that we think yes. is impossible. Yes, there is, there is a dream is just that, Tony. Uh, it starts with the impossible because we, we dream something that is not reality sometimes. And majority of our dream is not real. For example, you That's may dream, a dream. You, yeah, for example, you may dream you are catching the moon, right? So just think about, and it's like drinking coffee, right, Tony? Yep. I had to take a sip of that coffee. So catching the moon, with uh, with uh, some rope, for example, how is like, that dream looks like to you? That was uh, and it's a wonderful life, George Bailey, lassoing the moon. Yes, it's a wonderful life, and you are catching the impossible, and that's what the dream is. Dream is dream is a different world. Dream is a completely different world where we are allowed, we are permitted to you to see whatever possible or whatever impossible right so just like that uh, that clip we're going to be showing you hopefully today 
is uh, is that uh, you know this singer is trying his best to sing and become the maybe he's he's competing for American Idol. Who knows, right? He he looks like the American Idol that is immediately buzzed off <laughs> with a with a fake mustache and a pink headband. Right, right, <laughs> right. So that that is fascinating. So uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and introduce Paul and then uh, then we'll go from there because we are coming up with cycling and coaching and we'll be live from uh, um, Cycle Bar Cliff Core, and which is one of Paul's locations. Uh, why don't we go ahead and do that? We bring Paul on. Please. And let, him and let him talk about what we are about to do. Well, Dr. Milu, thank you. Um, as you mentioned, on the first and third Thursdays of the month, we're going to have an hour session from Cycle Bar Creef Core where we talk about multiple coaching topics. And this Thursday's is on motivation. And we'll have three or so sessions where Neil and I will discuss and then flip it over to our Cycle Star. And she'll be on a bike and she'll talk about how she motivates people. and. She'll do a, a, a two-song demonstration, and so we'll flip back and forth several times on that this come, upcoming Thursday. So we're looking forward to that, and um, uh, like you, Tony, are you know, always nervous about technology, but sure, sure we'll, we'll get it to work out. Very good. Very yep. good. Well, hopefully someday Tony will be able to show us in CNN or uh, CNBC, or MSNBC, and all those big, big, uh, uh, big channels, right, Tony? Where we will not have to worry about the uh, technological challenges we have, right? And I think uh, uh, Tony can get us there. As long as we have uh, content that is. Uh of, of uh, relevance and in interest to the, the community. Exactly, exactly. What, uh, and that's what I'm talking about, that impossible. And Tony, you are in charge of making that possible. <laughs> that is a good dream to, uh, <laughs> to try to, uh, to uh, uh, go after. Um, Paul did, was cycling. Was owning your own business always uh, one of your own dreams? Um, I think it was. I had always, I came up in my career with a, in a corporate environment, but had some side gigs. And then uh, the corporate environment ended for me. And I decided, I looked around at franchises and we decided on Cycle Bar. So now I'm. Um, is something. Is, is cycling something passionate to your own heart? Yeah, at the time we made a decision. We, our family, we rode outside a lot. And this looked like a fun job, a fun experience for the, for the customers. And it was new to St. Louis. So it was those aspects, fun lifestyle, something we kind of already did, outdoor cycling. Although now we've learned outdoor cycling is very different than what we do inside. Um, both very uh, physically challenging, but it's a different experience. So it, it, it we picked it because of we, meaning my, me and my wife and our children are all wanted, they were pushing me to pick Cycle Bar because they saw it. we had experienced it and it looked fun and it is fun, yeah. Well, I think uh, what you experienced in your corporate life and wanting to pursue your own dream is something that's uh, very relevant today because there's a lot of people out there whose corporate situations are changing dramatically. Yes. And uh, very rapidly and looking to control their own lives in a better way and seeking their own dreams. So um, I give you a lot of credit for um, pursuing your passion and um, you know, I'm certain in these times, it's not an easy effort to make. No, it, you know, I will say pursuing the dream. I didn't, at the time, I did not want to be 20 years later and look back and say, you know, I should have done something more challenging, more personally challenging, instead of just working for the man. So 
that was one reason that I decided we decided to to become a, you know do our own business. Well, I don't know what your age is, Paul, but if um, if a a 65 year old Paul looked back mm -hmm. to a 20 year old Paul and happened to meet him on the street, what would you say to him? So for myself now, I would say you, Paul, need to don't you need to really focus on networking. Uh, the people that you know in your business, in your industry, I didn't focus on it. I focused on the people who are just in my office who I dealt with all the time. But uh, I, I would go back and focus on networking in the industry. And, and why uh, do you think networking makes such a difference? <clears throat> For one reason, if you lose your job, you always get another job by the people you know, not by what's on your resume. If you know somebody, that door, those doors are much wider than just a generic resume going into a business. And if you know people in the industry, it helps you build skills and value for the, the entity that you're working for. So, Very good. Yeah, that was my, my personal deficiency was just not focusing on that. You know. Well, and it's, it's also what you do with it. So you're absolutely right. Um, I think somebody asked me that question um, and asked me what would, what would I tell a 20-year-old Tony if I bumped into him on the street? And uh, my answer was, go for it. Just don't be afraid and go for it because at 20 years old, you have plenty of time to recover from your mistakes. Right. And uh, when we all look back, on our life, we've all made a few mistakes, but and we thought they were the uh, apocalypse, but somehow we overcame them, and life became what we made it. You know. Yeah. So I guess that is uh, back to me loose statement of uh, dream big, dream the impossible dream. If you're going to go after something, you might as well try to lasso the moon, because if you fall a little bit short you're still up in the stars. Very nice. Uh, uh, that's, that's fascinating uh, what, you are, what you are saying there, uh, Tony. And I think, uh, you know, right now, I, I think uh, my clip is working and I, I'm gonna bring, try to bring it up and, uh, from Facebook so you can see and, uh, and judge it for yourself. How about that? Can you see the clip? Uh, we see your, your video, yes. It's not playing yet. Not playing yet. It will be playing right now. So let me see. It's unmute. And there we go. I, I, I see the video. I do not hear the audio. I turn it up a little bit. Well, it looks like um, his dream is, is uh, he's going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me mute that. So, so what do you think about that, Tony? Um, I, I think that as I look on it in a, in a critical eye, I may say, good luck with that dream. Um, but if he doesn't pursue it, he might feel the same way Paul did. And I, I wish I would have just tried and, uh, to see if I could make it in, the, in showbiz. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the way you played the 60-year-old Paul. Uh, in your case, I, we were playing on 80 years old, Tony. So well, I picked 65 because that's a retirement time. You know, <laughs> when, when you're ready to retire, what would you tell the 20-year-old? version of your own self. Right. And why, why did you shorten the age for Paul when I, I calculated 80 would be a good age for uh, Tony to look back? Well, because Paul's got, got some time before he's 65. <laughs> <laughs> and, and for Tony, you had to go a little higher. <laughs> Well, very well, very well. So uh, as you can see, this, uh, this uh, uh, ad is uh, showing 
uh, from impossible to possible, right? Right. So this guy is trying his best, and uh, it, it almost reminded me Tony, the opera singer, or Tony, uh, a famous singer from somewhere. I don't know, but uh, <laughs> I have I have a real mustache. <laughs> you have a real mustache. That's for sure. And. Well, uh, maybe, maybe this guy wanted to be like you. That's why he's wearing the mustache, right? So as far as when we go into thinking about the impossible, and that is where, uh, you know, so our, our, our uh, segment about dream, and we talk about dream, you are allowed to dream anything and everything you can. And, and one of the things I, I run into some people who will say, well, why should I dream that big? Just think about that for a second, Tony. Dream is a safe space. You can dream anything and sometimes you don't have control over your dream, right? You right. go to bed, you sleep and you suddenly see something that you say, oh my God, I'm, I'm uh, sleeping on cloud or I have a big huge uh, mansion and I'm fighting a dinosaur, killing, you know, so those kind of things in dream world in, and, and we are talking about dream world where you are seeing things that are not natural, that are not normal. That's the impossible things, right? And if you are scared to dream, you are not safe. So what do you think when I'm saying you are, you are scared to dream, you are not safe? What do, what do you think I mean about that? I think... Um... <sighs> I, th I think when people say, why should I dream so big? Mm -hmm. They are fearful of going after something they cannot achieve. And they want to, they're, I think they're confusing dreams and goals. I think dreams and goals are two different things. And goals should be something that's just outside of your reach. But with a little hard work, you can get there. A dream is something that's much greater that may take the fulfillment of many goals to achieve um and i think to your point of if you don't dream um you're not safe i think that is the fear coming out of people saying um what if i fail right right you, you are you you said it just right, Tony, because think about that. So there is a couple of other things we can add to that, right? So let's add uh, aspiration that we are talking about menu of life, aspiration side of it, right? Uh, it's not goal. We don't set goals in aspirations. We, we view aspiration as much higher than goals. And then also think about ambition. Ambition is another word that is totally different than goals, that is totally different than aspiration. Uh, and, 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 and if you compare that with dream, it's completely different because ambition is something we have. We decide this is my ambition, this is what I want to do, and this is where I want to go. And ambition kind of drives us to get there. That's totally different. So these are- Similar to the passion we spoke to. Right, right. And ambition is some people who say, this is my ambition to become a movie star or a, a big singer, right? So just think about, compare those words side by side and you will have the answer. So let's put this uh, in your mindset. Aspiration, ambition, goal, three word next to each of them, right? Aspiration, ambition, goal, and let's cover all of this with the cocktail called dream. Okay, so once you do that, you will see that each of them as we progress and you go down from there, you will see how narrow focused a goal is. Goal is what we set and achieve and we go do that and it's like Paul can uh, come and uh, talk about this goal that people come into the gym and they have a goal that they're going to lose weight or they're going to become healthy or they're going to have a social life or whatnot. Is that is that you see often, Paul? Yes, Mila. We <clears throat> those are goals that we see: weight yeah. loss, 
community, 100 rides, all they're all over the board specifically. Right. Yeah. Specifically, and I know I know I was doing a, a customer day with you one time and there was mm -hmm. somebody who who mentioned they come there for a social life because they they don't have that at work or they don't have that outside. So that is that is true. So those are some of the goals we have. And as as you graduate from goals, you can you can see ambition. Ambition is higher goals that you achieve in a longer term. So you are ambitious about something. But then if you take it to the next level and you say aspiration, aspiration is internal. It's a desire. It's a desire to achieve something that is almost seem impossible sometimes. But when you go to the dream, it's completely different dimension. It's almost like twilight zone. So when you ask somebody, let's dream, right? Tony, if you ask somebody, let's dream, and they will say, no, 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 I don't wanna do that because I know that's not possible. Okay, you gave them a safe space and you told them, just go ahead and dream. And you can dream anything and everything is free, it's open. And then they say, no, 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 I wanna, I don't wanna go there because that's impossible. That is the word they will pick, impossible because it's dream. But think about you giving them a safe space to dream anything and everything they want to dream. I think that someone who does not want to share that with you um, is concerned that their dreams might be viewed as um, insignificant or not important to somebody else. Um, it is. Mm -hmm. You know, dreams are personal, very personal. Mm -hmm. And some people um, may not want to share those just because of how you might perceive their dreams to be. Mm -hmm. um, I have had dreams of travel that I never made the effort to achieve, but they happened in my life. Mm -hmm. So what, it, what that taught me is that the things you think about will happen if you if you think about them and whether you say you're ambitious or you aspire to them if you aspire to them to happen i i think i walked past a travel agency one time and i saw a picture of portofino you know one of those great one of those great uh, travel posters and i said Port, portofino i said i'd love to see that sometime in my life and that that connection, 20 years later, I was in Portofino. Wow. And, and it, was, it was not something that I planned to happen. It just happened in my life. So, so your dreams are very achievable. Um, and they just happen in your life if you let them, if you let them happen. Um, I know that when I was young, when I was a teenager, and parents would talk to you about this, that, and the other, and how you should live your life, and, and I would look at what my parents did or other people, I said, I'm not going to get married early in life. I'm going to wait to get established. I'm going to own a house before I get married, and I'll get married later in life, maybe in my 30s. And what happened? And, and, and in my mind, in my mind, I said, I'd like to own a house when I was 26 years old, which was an impossible dream at that time. I mean, that was in the mid 60s, I was thinking this. And people didn't have houses at that time in their life. And sure enough, I bought my first house. I was 26 years old. It just happened. And I got married when I was 30. So all of those thoughts that you have, you need to be careful because they will happen. So you better, th you better think big. Well, it's not about thinking, just thinking big. It's, it's called having a safe space to let your imagination go anywhere it wants to go. 
And it don't have to be real, it can be unreal. So the, in the dream space, when we ask somebody to go and say, okay, this is the room called dream, walk in there, shut the door and just dream, they should be able to feel safe to dream as much and as different as impossible they can because it's, it's allowed, it's not necessarily have to be real. It, have, it can be impossible. And, and when somebody hesitant to do that, that means they are limiting their imagination. They are limiting from what is artly possible to looking at the impossible that is maybe not possible. And if you think about that, you can compare with all the history that we uh, experienced, like going to the moon, that was a dream someday, and it is reality, and it's past reality now. Uh, as you can see, SpaceX, uh, we talked about that last time, is now uh, making commercial flights to the space, right? And a commercial right. zone, whoever thought about that will be a commercial one. So what we can dream about today, it's reality tomorrow, which is not there yet. The question is, when you ask somebody to dream and they are not able to dream, there is few things is holding them back. Uh, one is their negative belief about themselves. Uh, the other one is the limiting belief they have that, well, I'm not, this is not achievable. Why should I even think about it? We are not asking you to achieve this. We are asking you to dream about it. So the question is completely different, as you can see, Tony. So limiting your beliefs and limiting your mind, what you cannot dream today is going to be dream, uh, is going to be reality someday, it, not by you, it by somebody else. But you I should be able to feel free and you should be able to have that mindset of, this is dream zone, it's a safe zone. I can go daydream if I need to, right? So, maybe so even, how, how can we learn to dream better, bigger, just to, to, dis to discover our dream? Right. So, so think about if you are dreaming, if I tell Tony right now, Tony, go and just daydream. Daydream about anything and everything you want to. You should be feeling safe to just daydream. And maybe you have a big smile on your face and you're closing your eyes and dreaming. And that's where we need to be in the dream space. It's a free, it's a safe space to just dream. And nobody asking you to dream big, you can dream, dream small too. But as long as you, you are open to dream, whether they become reality or not, you feel comfortable dreaming. And when we stop dreaming, we lose hope. And when we lose hope, what happens? We lose sight of our dreams. We do. And I know our time is almost over. So it's from going from to dream big and dream impossible or even dream something unreal, you have to feel safe. And if you are safe. Well, are in, safe, these, in these COVID times, when people don't feel safe, can you give them any parting thoughts on how to achieve their dreams or even realize what they're dreaming? Well, as you can see in Vino and Vision, we have a, a segment called Finding Your Positive Self. So first, find your positive self. As you find your positive self, you will know that anything and everything is possible it's maybe not by me, it may be by somebody else, but I should be able to freely dream about it. Nobody has any limit. So I, I will give you example of Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. But then next statement, he said, I may not get there with you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the example, I have a dream, but I may not get there with you. So we yep. are free to dream. We may not achieve it in our lifetime, but we can achieve, dream that and somebody's dream will be reality someday. And to focus on that, we have to focus on the positivity in life that 
I am free to dream. That's one thing you don't have to pay for it. You can right. dream anything and everything you want to. Very good. Well, it looks like our time is up for today. And um, I will meet you again the third Tuesday of this month to uh, discuss our next topic, which I don't know if we're ready to tease yet what that will be. Okay, we will we'll be, and uh, Paul is here, so we'll cheers with each other with the coffee. Paul, and... good, good, good luck to cycling with the coach. Well, thank you, thanks for letting me jump in. Okay, very and welcome. very well. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll uh, discuss in our next episode of Coffee with the Coach. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, Tony. Dream big. See you. Dream big. I agree. Have a great day.